So here we are in a rental property that Glenn and I have owned for several years, um, but the tenants moved out and our Airbnb and our short-term rentals have been going so well that anytime um, one of our normal tenants moves out, we consider it for an Airbnb. Um, so this house, Glenn and I stopped by on one of our date nights that just happened to be, you know, close to a restaurant he wanted to take me to, which happens a lot with Glenn. Um, and when I first thought, I was like, eh, you know, it's on a busy road and the upstairs has like maybe six foot ceilings. It's really small um, and there's only two bedrooms down here on the main floor. So I was kind of, eh, I don't know, I was on the fence about it. But then, like that night, I went to bed and I couldn't sleep. Like I kept waking up thinking of ideas and, and things that I could do to make it um, unique and creative. And I've been wanting to do some more like theme Airbnbs. The other ones that we have are, you know, they're decorated nicely and, and they're very appealing to people and they're very modern and everything. But, you know, up in the Albany area, capital region area of New York, this isn't like a big tourist attraction type of area. There aren't like a lot of people that come here say, let's go to Albany for vacation. You know, most people that come here are visiting family or they're here for work or something like that. So it is getting more popular up here though. You know, we are having more competition. So the need to make our Airbnb stand out is getting more important, I think. That's kind of the trend that I see it going. So I started thinking about it and, um, you know, I got some ideas and I saw this really cool bedroom idea um, a while back and it just, when I, when I went to bed that night, I started thinking about this house and, and I could kind of give it that farmhouse feel, which is super, super popular right now and trendy. You know, even, even adding something like as simple as just a piece of barn wood across the, the shower curtain rod, gives it that kind of rustic farmhouse feel. And the upstairs, like I said, is only like six feet tall, but there's a spot right at the top of the stairs on either side of the window where I'm thinking that I will put some built-in beds that have like shiplap all around them and kind of make it more like um, fort-like. It won't look like a fort because it won't be like trees and stuff like that. Obviously it's going to be one bed instead of two, but we'll have one on each side of the window. But how cool is that? Like with the shiplap and everything, it looks wicked cool. That was another idea I had. I really like the look of this and that could be a more kind of fort playhouse looking, but I'm also thinking about um, turnover. So, you know, with Airbnbs, you have a lot of turnover between guests and making that bed and making sure that it's clean and all the cracks and crevices and stuff would be a real pain in the butt. But I can make it like built in and, and really cool and trendy looking. But this other bedroom that I have in my mind is super cool. So I was wanting to tell Glenn about it, but then I changed my mind and I kind of wanted it to be a surprise for him. And he's like, no, 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 you got to tell me, you got to tell me. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. So I have some little tricks up my sleeves that we're gonna do and I think that this could be a really cool like magazine worthy, you know, like Pinterest worthy bedroom idea. And I, I found a bed that's actually made out of like an old Chevy truck. So like the, the cab of the truck, the front of it is like the headboard and then the footboard is um, like the, the, the tailgate of the truck. So it's super cool and then I'm gonna do like a wooden wall behind it so it kind of has like that barn feel and maybe some sliding barn doors over the windows and um, here's the deal though. I have to keep this all on like a $20,000 budget for the renovation and for furnishing it. And that bed was like $2,400 for the shipping and, and um, the bed itself. So that put a big chunk into my budget. Um, so I'm trying to find ways to really make this house work. So the cabinets aren't in bad shape. They're just this really ugly color that, that our um, other company painted them when they were turning over their property. They kind of look like, well, we won't, we won't talk about what they look like. Um, let's just say they're like UPS brown, okay? So I want to paint those. We're going to go like with a, a super dark teal color and I've got this like um, really cool backsplash that we're gonna do that kind of has a, a weathered wood look to it but it's more like glass it's really wicked cool we're gonna do new countertops and new flooring and, and all that good stuff now these pictures are really grand obviously we don't have that much room in this kitchen and I just measured it I wanted to put an island like that in and we don't quite have room for something like that because we don't have the, the width that, that we need but I am gonna do like a farmhouse table instead that kind of gives that similar feel to it 
I'm super excited and I'm also super excited because Glenn's usually a part of the renovation process. Like I'm the one that always makes all the decisions, but you know, he's kind of right there with me and is like, you know, challenging my thoughts and all the time, all the time on this, that and the other. So I'm super excited for this one to come together and to be like this awesome finished product and for us to get like awesome reviews and, and have it like stay booked really, really often because of how cool it looks. So I don't know exactly um, the plan that we're gonna use. I have to talk to the contractor and project manager about all that kind of stuff, but um, I'm super excited about it. And I'm super excited to see how it's all gonna come together.